Good morning everyone, so let's start our class with an opening prayer. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, class. So before we proceed to our discussion for today, let's start with our motivation. So I have here a list of examples of sentences that are related to our topic. Uh, Mr. Kyle, can you please read the first group? Thank you very much. So, uh, Miss Julian, can you please read the second group? Thank you very much. So, our motivation does not end there. I have a couple of questions that are related to the examples that I have given. So, the first question is, what did you observe in the examples that are provided? Uh, may I call Miss Kyla? Thank you very much. So the second question is, do you have any idea what we'll be discussing for today? May I call uh, Mr. Christian? Thank you very much. Okay class, so let's proceed on our topic for today. We're going to talk about prose. Okay, Mr. Alex, can you please read the definition of prose? Thank you very much. Okay, class, if we're talking about prose, it typically features a natural pattern of speech and communication with grammatical structure in the form of sentences and paragraphs. So, prose is the most common or popular uh, form of writing, fiction, and nonfiction. So, I have here an example of uh, prose by J.D. Salinger entitled The Catcher in the Rhyme. Miss Julian, can you please read the example? Thank you very much. Okay class, to elaborate it in a simple way, prose is a literary device. It is a way for writers to communicate with readers in a straightforward, even conversational manner and tone. Okay class, so take note that prose is different from poetry. Uh, Mr. Kyle, can you please read the definition of poetry? Thank you very much. Okay, class. So the basic difference of prose and poetry is that we have sentences and paragraphs, whereas line and stanzas can be found in a poetry. To further, there is a regular writing in prose, but uh, but there is a unique style of writing in poetry. Did you understand the definition of prose and the difference between poetry? Okay, so uh, if it's clear now, uh, we're going to proceed with our next topic, which is the two division of prose. Uh, fiction and non-fiction. Okay, class. So, may I call Mr. Kyle? Can you please read the uh, definition of fiction? Thank you very much. Uh, Miss Julia, can you please read the definition of non-fiction? Thank you very much. Okay, class. So, it is very easy to understand the two divisions of prose, which is fiction and non-fiction. Fiction has imaginary characters and events, so basically saying it is not real. Now, if we're going to talk about non-fiction, uh, characters and events are based on facts, meaning to say it is real. Okay, class, so I have here examples of fiction and non-fiction. Mr. Alex, can you please read examples of fiction? Thank you very much. How about Mr. Christian? Can you please read uh, the examples of non-fiction? Thank you very much. Okay, class. So, did you understand the two divisions of prose, which is fiction and nonfiction? Very good. So, the next thing that we are going to do is reading. Uh, it is a follow-up activity, and you are required to read an example of prose and poetry that I will provide. I will give you ten minutes to read the prose and poetry that I will provide.
So after reading the poetry that I have given, we're going to have an evaluation. I will split the class into a group of four, and then you're going to work together on an interpretation of several different stanzas from the poetry that I have provided. So uh, you are required to translate the poetry into a prose. Okay, so I will give you 20 minutes to do the task. Let me start now. Okay, so we're going to start with group 4. Can you please present your work? Thank you very much. Next, group 3. Thank you very much. Next, group 2. Thank you very much. So the last one, I uh, will begin the group one, okay? Can you please present your work? Thank you very much. Very good class. It seems like you really did understand our topic for today. So next, I will give you an assignment. You are required to provide examples of the two divisions of prose, which is fiction and non-fiction. Uh, and you also need to construct one example of your own prose. Okay. So the deadline will be next week. Okay class, so thank you for listening and participating on our discussion for today. You are dismissed.